Hi, I'm Joe Hale. You're watching The Joe Show. Today on The Joe Show, we are looking at the automotive industry. We're going to give you some trends and some facts and figures. We also have some great ideas for you, as well as some terrific products that would fit into your upcoming campaigns and promotion. All that coming up in today's Joe Show. All right, the automotive industry has been in the news a lot lately. A few years ago, some manufacturers received stimulus money because of that. They were able to stave off unemployment, up production, and actually put some more cars out on the road. Now, that's not all good news because some dealerships did shut out their business, but it's still a thriving industry. According to CarDealerUSA.com, there's about 23,000 dealerships in this country, and sales have been pretty good. From January through May of this year, sales are up 13.9% from the same time the previous year, and that's on 5.2 million units being sold. And the three big Detroit companies account for about 50 percent of that market share. Now all that information is coming to us from the National Automobile Dealers Association. Now the automotive industry is more than just car manufacturers and dealerships. We also want to look at service stations, uh, car detailers, uh, people who sell car insurance. Uh, there's a whole slew of ancillary markets, used parts, used cars. We want to look at all these. So when we come back we have some creative ideas for some specific markets and we think that some of these ideas will work through the various other markets. Okay, now here's some ideas. Uh, first of all, let's start with some dealerships. Where I live, our soccer organization, we actually partner with a local Chevy dealership and what they do, they give us points based on the number of kids on our soccer program and we go to a special website for us and we fill in some information and then we redeem our points for soccer equipment. Pennies, corner flags, cones, uh, coaches' equipment bags, uh, first aid kicks, uniforms if we want them, and all these carry that Chevy dealership logo on it. So what the hope is is that the parents are going to see this stuff in action at practices and at games, and they'll really have a good feeling about that dealership and when they want to buy a new vehicle. Hopefully, they think to them first. Uh, but some other ideas. If you're at a service station, uh, if you're a car detailer, if you're an organization that just uh, does oil changes and lubes, you might want to consider having a frequency program. And what you would do is for so many either service calls, 10 service calls in a year, um, 20 fill-ups at the gas, 15 fill-ups at the gas station, uh, three oil change, whatever it is, everyone gets a card and they get punch uh, every time they come in for that service. When they fill out the whole card, they can redeem that for a free product. And naturally, you would want it to be something that's automotive related because it ties into your business, one, and it ties into why they're coming to you. It's going to go in their car. It's going to be about, them car, uh, about their car and about them as well. Now, also, people who sell auto insurance, there are ways that you want to recognize your customers. Say you have a family, mom and dad are on the policy, then they've got five kids. They're eventually going to be needed to add them to the policy. You don't want to lose that sale. You want to make sure that they stay with your company. So you want to make sure that you have products for them as thank you gifts every time they put someone else on the policy and just let them know that you're thinking of them. It endears you to your clients. Um, so when we come back, I do have some products I think would work for a number of different uh, industries uh, within the automotive market and I think uh, you're going to like what you see. All right, we are back with some products I think will work great for the automotive industry, for reaching your clients, and for a variety of different things. Let's start off with this first one. This is called a salesperson's trunk blanket. I'm going to step back a second, Craig, and open it up. And I want to show you that it's, it's pretty sizable. Sizable blanket. Now, on this one side, there's got Velcro. That's going to attach to the felt inside a trunk, so it's not going to move. And then... On this end, you see you have your advertising there. It's going to hang over the trunk, okay? It's also going to protect the car from anyone leaning in and out of the trunk to get supplies out. So if you're in an industry that sells parts to uh, auto mechanics, that sells tools to auto mechanics, and you work out of your trunk when you get to an auto mechanic shop, this would be a great product for you to logo with your own logo. Now, if you have parts and that those salespeople are selling, you might also want to put your logo on there and let them use it when they go visiting their clients. All right, this next product is a very uh, important product for every car owner to have. This is an emergency kit. I'm going to open it up and it's got a lot of stuff inside. I'm going to put it down, Craig, so just bear with me. And it's got an emergency placard. It has a funnel in case you run out of gas and you got to put gas in the car and you don't have something that's going to fit into the uh, gas tank. Uh, of course, it's got jumper cables. Fix a flat, 
flashlight. There's a first aid kit in here, a pair of gloves, a rain poncho. Uh, great for, again, every car in a half. So if you're in the insurance business and you're looking for a gift to give to one of your clients, a special client, especially, again, if it's a family and they have multiple kids or eventually add to that plan, uh, you'd certainly want to gift them with something like this. All right, this is another product that every car owner should have in their glove compartment. And we're going to show you that, one, it's a flashlight. Okay, I push this button again, the whole wand is now lit up. So it's almost like an emergency beacon. Someone uh, runs out of gas on the side of the road at night, they can flag down approaching cars. Now the flashlight goes off and finally we have a blinking light. So however the motorist wants to use this in an emergency and to top it off on this end, there's an emergency whistle. So they're out again, out in the dark, they're waving this flag, they see someone come and blowing the whistle, they're certainly going to gain some attention. This would be a great product for someone in the car service industry. Uh, you're coming in, you're getting your car detailed, and again, a punch card, 10 punches, you're going to get that product. Uh, here's another nice gift for top clients. Uh, if you sell uh, luxury cars, this might be a great gift um, for buying a car. Now open this up, this is from National Geographic, and there's some nice pictures inside. It's drives of a lifetime, 500 memorable uh, trips, and you're going to get your special insert page. It's going to have your logo on it, a message to your customers, telling them why you gave this book, why you appreciate their business. And again, it makes a great gift to give someone if they've just purchased a luxury car. Let's look at this next product. I like this one a lot. Okay, it's made out of foam rubber here. Okay, and when I tilt it down, you're going to see all these slots here. You got parts for pens. You can put a cell phone in here. You can put an, an iPod in here. And if you look, look at this, Craig. I'm going to poke this through the bottom. You see that? You can actually, if you need to power up something from the uh, auto uh, outlet there, plug it into the outlet. You can put your cord up through here, and then you can actually power your uh, or charge up the battery and the, the iPod that you have in here. But the important thing about this, it actually goes into a car's cup holder. So put in a cup holder, drivers can have everything they need at hand. Their PDA, their iPod, their cell phone, pens and pencils, whatever it is they can have there. And again, this is great for a lot of different uh, industries within the car market, the automotive market. Okay, check out this next one. Craig's going to come in nice and tight on this. This looks like a Hyundai key, and this is actually called a web key. And how it works is the user is going to get it, plug it into a USB port, and it's going to launch a special landing page for whoever has this key. So in other words, no one else can get there unless you have this uh, web key. Great for car dealerships. Now what happens? Someone comes in, they're not ready to buy a car, okay? They're kind of interested. They're on the fence. You send them home with this key. They plug it in. They're going to have uh, options there. They can see all the cars that you're selling on the lot, all the options for the cars. You can put pricing in there, information about sales reps, whatever you want to do. And you can update this page weekly, monthly, whatever you want to do. Because, you know, some people might not be ready to pull that trigger right away. They might go car shop and you know it might be a three four week process for them so if you update this any specials that are coming up any sales come up you can put it on this so again it's great for sales reps and for car dealerships now when you're selling cars one of the most important things to give out is key tags a lot of times they don't come with key tags anymore because they have the uh, electronic door openers but i still think key tags are important and you want to remember that the key tag should match the car so in other words if you're selling luxury cars you don't want to give out a plastic key tag you want something maybe leather or brass but there's a lot of different varieties out there i'm going to show you two here this has got a split key ring and on this side uh there is a full color epoxy dome logo there. I'm going to hold up another one for you, Craig. Stay with me. Another split, split key ring. And again, the four color process with an epo epoxy dome. And it's a different shape. So again, match the key tag to the car. Now, when I drop my car off at night to get service, I drop it off, I take my key off of the key tag, I drop it in a little bucket inside, you know, it slides down a little hole. Um, what I think that that... Uh, that service station should do. They should actually give me back a plastic key tag with all their contact information on there. Now I can put that on one of my spare keys so when I need to take it for service again, I already have it on their key tag and it's got my spare key. I can put it right in there. Don't have to worry about taking my other key off. All right, I got a couple more products for you here. Um, Antenna balls. Check these out. These are little balls that go onto antennas. I've got a couple of different styles here, and you can get thousands of styles. You can get them custom made. This is a baseball uh, plier. This would be great if your car dealership 
is sponsoring a local baseball uh, team, a, a club. Um, also good for service stations if they do that. Here's one for football. Craig's kids play football. So I'm sure that if their service station gave this out with his uh, club's logo on the side there, he'd like to put it on his car so I can see where his kid plays from. And it's going to show the support. And this is just like a little colorful beach ball can be given out the summertime. So again, great for service stations. Just as a giveaway, um, it'd be a great product to use in a direct mail piece because this is certainly going to create some bulk in an envelope when that comes to someone's house they're going to see that they want to know what's inside if it's something cool and unique they're going to put it on their antenna and of course your marketing piece will have a call to action like come in for your first free oil change and you know list down all your great prices all right when i'm driving a lot of times i have a pen nearby and i have a notepad nearby because when you have ideas inspiration whatever it is you want to make sure you mark them down right away but the worst thing is where do you put the things well i got something here for your pens okay this little holder here, you'll see because of this clip here, it slides into the vents of your uh, car's air conditioning or heating system. And then, of course, you can put it in a pen. But what's cool about this, I'm going to pull out the other pen, you can get matching colors. Here's green. I have red. You get the matching pen color. Now, what this is also good for is, like, say, pretend these are my sunglasses and I need a place to put these in hands reach right there in the car vent and when I need them I put my sunglasses on and I can see again. So a great little product to give service stations, you know, maybe you have a special the first of every month come in for a fill up and you're going to get one of these things and you'll have your logo on there, you'll have your contact information on there as well. Uh, one of the best products I ever bought for my wife uh, for Christmas one year was a trunk organizer. I'm going to hold this up for you. Um, you can see there's a, a huge area there. You can put your shopping bags in there. There's also some pockets in there and some sleeves where you can put other things, jumper cables, tools. It's going to keep everything in your trunk organized. It's not going to have everything sliding all over the place. So a good product to give out for people who, again, are want to recognize top clients. It could be if you're selling insurance. It also could be a great product to give away when someone buys a car. I know when I bought my car years ago, you had to buy the floor mats. Well, nowadays a lot of cars do come with the floor mats, so what can you give that you can logo? A trunk organizer would be a great idea. I have two more products for you here. I'm going to start with this first one. This is a visor clip. Clips onto a visor. You've got a space here. You can put a pair of sunglasses there, so another way to hold sunglasses. And then down here, another place to put a pen there. And again, because it's small, it's not real heavy, it's got some bulk to it, it would make a great direct mail piece. And again, it can be used for car detailers. I mean, it's, you know, when you're done detailing that car, just slap this, you know, slide it right on there. If you see a pen in the car, plug the pen in there. You know, if you see the sunglasses sitting there on the dashboard or in a dash tray, just, just put it in there. And it's, it could be a great little advertising message for you. Not going to cost that much. And it's always going to be in the driver's uh, line of vision. All right, and this last product, um, I'm going to show you this case. I'm going to open it up. Every car should also have this, a little mini toolkit. Um, you never know when you're going to need tools when you're out on the road, either to fix your car, to fix someone else. I, I carry my tools with me, a toolbox, when we go on vacation, when we rent houses, because you never know what's going to happen when you get there. You might need a hammer for something, a pair of pliers or a screwdriver. So this is a great product to give. And again, do it with a frequency program. Someone comes in, you know, gets 10 fill-ups, and every time they get a fill-up, they're going to punch that car, punch that car. When they get to the 10th, they're going to get this free gift. Okay, those are the products I wanted to show you. Now, if you need any help, getting any information, more information on the products you saw today, or if you want help with coming up with ideas for promotions, um, for campaigns that utilize promotional products, please contact your distributor partner. I'm guaranteed that they would be very happy to help you. Thanks a lot for watching. This is ASI TV.